Canada, France, etc. The far right who want to sow division and hate and use the killing by the police of a black man as a way of reflecting their agenda piled onto my Facebook page when I expressed sympathy with the family of George and Ken Cho. They piled on and when we uh, examined it afterwards, we were able to show that more than half of it came from outside this island. And that's important to know because we need to know that the lies that were told about George, that he was a thug, that he had slashed the face of a man in the shop beforehand, that he had 30 odd previous convictions, stuck. They stuck in the minds of people when they first appeared on, on social media platforms. And a lot of people in ordinary communities like mine and Bally Farmers felt uncomfortable and felt confused and weren't sure what was the truth of the matter. But we do know the truths of the matter are that George in Kensho was no previous convicted uh, thug. He didn't attack and slash the face of a shop worker. He didn't have 30 previous convictions against him. He was a young man who suffered severely with mental health issues. And for those of you who are not familiar with John Carty, many years ago, a young man called John Carty in County Longford, which suffered from mental health illnesses, was under siege by Gardaí in a house. And for days ensued a, a siege which ended in the killing of um, John Carty. And from that, there was a tribunal of inquiry known as the Abbey Lara Inquiry, which then made recommendations to the Department of Justice that in situations of mental health, where there's confrontation and siege with the Gardaí, there needs to be serious intervention, serious intervention and negotiation, none of which was inferred to George Nkencho, who was brutally killed outside his family home, despite the pleadings of his sister and his mother. Now that does leave serious questions to be answered. And those questions are not being asked just to be provocative or because people feel they have a, an axe to grind. There are serious societal issues behind finding out why a young black man was brutally murdered in this way. And we need to get to the bottom of it, and we won't get to the bottom of it through GSOC. GSOC basically means Gardaí investigating Gardaí. Today is a matter of course, there has to be an inquest and that is taking place, but it's important that we mark it by saying nothing less than an open, full, independent public inquiry into the killing of George and Kencho is necessary. It's absolutely vital and we support the family 100% and the campaign in demanding that and we'll use every opportunity we can get in Dáil Éireann and on the streets to support you and to demand that that happens. There are other victims of Garda injustice, and I believe Dara Quigley, who also suffered with mental health, her mother is here today, and I want to support her in her struggle for justice. And next Saturday there will be a protest for, by the Wheelock uh, family. Terence Wheelock uh, went into Store Street Garda station and never came out alive about 10 years ago. And these are questions that have never been addressed, never been answered, and it's in the interest of the Gardaí as well that these issues are addressed so that we can ensure they don't happen again. And we don't want to see the right wing being able to feed into a nasty, divisive racism in this country. Those who live here belong here and they deserve the same justice and the same consideration as all of us. So justice for George and Chenko is the message today and I want to give you 100% support from people before profit and thank you to the campaign for organising this very important event. Thanks, Breed. Uh, thanks so much. Yeah.